Hello, hi, whoever is out there. Anyway, um, so currently I'm having a quick sharing of my lunch. Uh, I've ordered. Uh, I'm going to share three different, uh, three different dishes as well as uh, from uh, uh, which I ordered in from two different delivery platforms. Hi, George. Hi. Uh, anyway, I ordered this one is from YQ, which is the delivery platform, and ordered the hot high Hong Lim curry chicken curry chicken noodles. So anyway. I was on, on course today, um, on Zoom the whole day, and uh, this is the sambal. George, it's a pleasure, long time no see. So anyway, I just thought that I would like to share something different rather than always posting it on words. So this is the thing. And the, um, the curry, the curry, right, it's nice and soft. Hello, Audrey. This is nice and soft. Anyway, I'm eating the Hot Hai Hong Lim Curry Chicken Noodles. Previously, I, I no, my favorite is the one, I mean, typically, I used to go normally, is the Bugis, Bugis one, which is the uh, Aheng Curry Chicken Noodles. Hey, hi, hi. So the Aheng is located in Hong Lim as well as Fortune Center there. Stand over. Mm, I would love to, unfortunately, you know, we are in the enhanced lockdown thing. Hmm. So, I guess it's a matter of personal preference. The potato, right, just for your info, right, has been inside the soup for quite some time. Mm. And I must say that it's still firm, it's good. The tau pok, you see, look at this, look at this. Mm. Very nice, very nice. Now, the chicken. Maybe I'll just order a small one. Um, so I use the YQ platform. The YQ platform allows me to order from different hawker centers around Singapore itself. Yeah, the chop is like the what we call the funeral curry, the uh, the Chinese funeral curry, uh, uh, curry uh, chop, right? And then, so I, I ordered a smaller one. The one Hong Lim I noticed, right? Even the five six dollars one, uh, tends to be bigger, but. But in fairness, right, I must say that the chicken is good. It's good. It's really good. More bony, more kampong chicken style, as say compared to say um uh Hong Lim one. Hong Lim is more plush, you know, more more bitey. This one, mm, it's more what's about yours? It's more bony, somewhat, but it's more kampung chicken style la, which is also good uh, it also tastes uh, quite nice as well um, the chak is amazing and the carb and the chili right it's die die right must try one it's really good i must say that the curry i mean or rather the 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 soup as well as the sambal are uh, equally as good so something that um it's worthwhile to try i'm going to review other dishes as well uh, not just this one. So definitely the soup and the chili is definitely comparable to Hong Lim. One of the biggest problem that are on the YQ platform that uh, I, I guess they're ch still relatively new, I guess. I'm not very sure about it, but what happened right, was that when I tried to uh, choose uh, Mi Fan Mian, which is uh, the bihun and the noodles, the yellow noodles, right? Mixed together, which is actually my preferred way. Uh, they didn't allow me to do it. So I ended up having to order the Mi Fan Mian, which is a thick one. Um, because you order the, the thin one, right, then you absorb all the curry sauce and then it becomes very... Mm, too, it becomes overbearing. I would say that overall, a very good dish. Uh, excellent dish. However, uh, the Hong Lim one, the, the one on the second floor at Aheng, uh, is still... Uh, remains my favourite. I must say that uh, potatoes is really good. So they, they only miss out a little bit in terms of the chicken. But still a very good bowl. And the queue over at Boto Interchange Hawker Centre right, is insane. So I'm not too sure if you ever get the chance to go there and go and try. Uh, but expect to wait minimum half an hour to 45 minutes. I would say that would be an average. If you're unlucky, 
it'll be an hour. Even now, I was just there about about last weekend. Um, it was a long queue. So I can safely say that um, the Taugay, the Bridge Prox rather, uh, makes it a very nice bite, very juicy, very tender, very nice, and uh, very nice. You know this this. So eating the uh, hot lai, uh, hot lai hong lim curry chicken noodle uh, from Bedok Interchange. Hmm. It's not so bad. It's a good bowl. I finished about a little bit, half of it. I think I would likely will finish up the rest of it. But I think I would like to try, to try others as well. Just waving to whoever, whoever is trying. Yeah, so anyway, this is, I couldn't make, I, I ordered it from YQ. So YQ doesn't allow me to mix the Mi Fan Mia together. But so I'm having the thick bee hoon together on uh together the curry noodles, but the curry noodle soup is really good. As well as uh together with this thing. So anyway, um it's a good dish. Uh expect long queues at Bado. Potato, unfortunately I finished it. And um I would recommend that you go and try. However, my favorite is still the, the Hong Lim 5UM at the second floor and the Fortune Center one, uh, which is near the uh, Kuan Yi Miao uh, uh, at Middle Road there, which are the, the same branches. That still uh, remains my favorite, uh, still. So, anyway, um, I think I would put it aside because <laughs> otherwise, I don't think it's quite boring. To actually eat that one dish only. Second dish I'm trying. This is the Simon Road fried Hokkien Mee. Now, this one, right, is considered one of the top five fried Hokkien Mee in Singapore, rated by many different places. Daniel uh, Fudari, Miss Tan Jia, so and so forth. Uh, I won't bore who are these people, but they really are. Uh, uh, you know, uh, a lot of them have uh, very good reviews about this. So, this salmon road Hokkien Mee is high there. You just join at the right time. I just opened up this dish of the salmon road Hokkien Mee. This is the. And uh, I cannot bring myself to go all the way to Hokkien today to queue up because it's really too long. Um, I would love to, but unfortunately, it's uh, I, I had a class today, I had a Zoom class today, so I didn't really have the time to to bother. So I'm adding in the lime right now uh, into the Hokkien Mee, and and this and they have a second ingredient, uh, which is the pork lard. And the pork lard is actually separated from the from there. Yes, I still have the scissors. Okay, that's it. And then you can put the pot lard in. And then you can just begin. Now, this, sorry, to mix it a little bit, the curry, but they put, if you notice, they are very clever. They put two, two, uh, two wrappers together. And then the pot lard, right, is mixed together in. I'm afraid. So anyway, this is how it looks like. And then, you see, now this is the prawn. This is the pork lard. And then, this is the chili. Can you come here? Mm. It's really good. I can see that. There's, wow, the chili is really hot. And I like chili a lot, but... I can say that this is one of the most powerful, powerful chili. As they say, it packs a punch, but it's really good. The wok hay is still very present. Um, it arrived about, now the time is about 1 o, mm, about one o three Singapore time. Uh, it arrived about 11.30am and, um, and, it, and, uh, and, and, and because I was in the middle of a uh, Zoom training, so I didn't I didn't have the chance to eat it, so I'm, I'm eating it now. And I must say that it's really good. Yeah. So, worth the calories. Really good. Um, I'm glad I did my workout early in the morning. 
นะฮะอยู่ที่ดีไม่เห็นเซฟดีเซ่เลย having ear as a top five top five for uh, hotel in Singapore definitely well deserved and the chili my goodness normally I would if I'm there if I'm physically there well of course there are a few ways you can eat it right one now you can you can eat it there but previously you could you could uh, go there and order order it take away to of course you get somebody to to send it to your house which is what I did that's the only other method um, I tried using grab I tried using grab food I tried using um, food panda they weren't able to deliver to my house so uh, for this one it was not built on a platform it's their own platform I'm looking at it right now it's called the take.app then they actually tie up together uh, with a delivery service uh, which allows them to actually send up send out the thing from there and let me see where is the delivery service uh, let me see Simon wrote okay anyway yeah so they were they were they were work out with one of the one of the delivery uh, services there and they would actually will send it send it uh, send it to you um la la move yes yeah, it's called la la move motorcycle Though it's raining heavily right now, uh, I really hope that uh, whoever is cycling right now is uh, all safe and sound. Mm. It's really good. I would consider it as um, one of the top five in Singapore. There are many competitors in market gaming space. Um, let me see. Old Airport Road has at least three stores. Um, the rest are not so good. Two at least halfway decent. Uh, Golden Mount has at least two to three. Um, so and so forth, uh, you know. So so that that, that a lot of everybody has their hot favorites on here, but very few people dispute Simon's roots standing in the top five in Singapore. Hmm. Xiao Di fried prawn noodle at Serangoon North. Hmm. Thanks. Um. Well, George, I will definitely will have to take note of that Xiao Di. Let me let me quickly type it out. Xiao Di. Xiao Di. Xiao Di Hokkien Mi Okay, if it is that's <laughs> good normal I, I hope they accept take away I, Or rather they are able to de do delivery here and there uh, Because even for this top 5 Singapore one right I had it sent it to my house rather than I going over there to collect it But Thanks for the tip oh, Okay, so anyway um, I'm going to put this aside and But it's really good it's really good. Um, I'm gonna try. This is from Bedok Interchange Hawker Center. This is from Fat Sun Kui. Hello, Betty. Uh, Fat Sun Kui. Uh, so they have different types of uh, 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 Sun Kui here. Here's the chili, the scissors not included, and of course the uh, dark soy sauce. And then, what they do is that I ordered the rice kui. The the uh cha kue as well as the sun kue. So this is this one right, you see this dumpling here is so nice, it's so you see? So nice, so firm, it's definitely freshly made. I will eat it without the chili first. Mm. It's really good. No chili no more. And I'm a kind of person who needs chili. But I must say that it's really good, it's really impressive. Mm. And then I will add in a little bit of the soya sauce. Mm -hmm. mm. And then, so anyway, this is the, if I'm not wrong, should be the rice kueh bar. Brown color, it's nice. I'm going to eat it by itself first. Mm. So I ordered a set of nine. The rest of us are passing to other people to eat. After having taken three, uh, nine comes out about fourteen bucks. So each of them costs about a, a dollar each. Mm, over in Bato, it's a bit of a longish queue. So, um, but please do support the hawkers. Um, they really need everybody's support. I think, um, um, you know, it's a, a very tough time right now to to for everybody concerned. Close here. 
And then the rice cream. Ah, oh, sorry, the sauce drip over. Okay. Hmm. The peanuts inside. You see? Look at the peanuts inside. Mm. Oh. Peanuts. Oh. Mm. Very nice. Very traditional. Very obviously handmade. You know that it's, it's made it with love. Huh? You know, it's not those... I'm not saying that factory meat is bad. Uh, but... Well, the food is handmade. There is an authenticity that cannot be duplicated. It's so difficult. Um, although, of course, there are issues in terms of scaling, scaling up and kind of stuff. But I'm very impressed uh, with... I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of Fasting Kui, by the way. But... Fantastic. I mean, I must say that a very, very good bite. So anyway, um, towards the end, but that's about, so I sampled three dishes. So the first one uh, was the Hock Hai Hung Lim uh, Curry Chicken Noodle from Budok uh, Hawker Centre Interchange. The second one was the Fat Sun Kueh uh, with, the, with the assorted kueh set from the Rice Kueh, uh, the Chi Kueh, as well as uh, the Gu Gu Chai Kui, sorry, as well as the Sung Kui. I'm, I'm reading it from my, from my email order right now. So this was, I use uh, YQ. Uh, YQ, I, the delivery fee was only $2.99. There was a very nominal takeaway charge, 60 cents. Uh, I have no idea what was it for, but but it's fine. Actually, I wanted to order the um, Budo uh, Chi Kui as well. Because it's a Singapore staple, it's definitely one of the top branded breakfast items in Singapore. Um, but they, the store was not open today, so I didn't have the chance to order in. Um, so they refunded me, and uh, payment mode uh, was used pay uh, 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 Quite, I would say that the app, uh, I, ran, I used it on the website, uh, it was ran, uh, reasonably easy to order in. So that's not really an issue at all. And then what happened was that I uh, subsequent uh, for the Simon Road Hokkien Mee, uh, they don't use uh, they don't use they don't use uh, uh, the I mean or rather the delivery, major delivery pl platforms like Grab and all that stuff they don't really come over to my my area. Uh, however, I would say that I had a very good experience uh, with with the food. Delivery was a little bit troublesome. So you need to go to the to the website which is uh take.sg and then slash and then a series of numbers down there. And then uh after that then uh they will then uh they will work together. Uh you will you'll pay them a amount of money, but you also need to figure out the delivery charge which is actually computed by Lala Move. So Lala Move is a career service that actually they do van car as well as motorcycle they'll, then they'll pick it up from uh, Simon Root or Kenny and then they'll deliver it over to your house which is what I did. Uh, the delivery charge uh, in my case yesterday uh, because I ordered last night uh, came up to uh, $13.50. Uh, I ordered a few packets of Hokkien Mee. Ah uh, yes, 560 McPherson Sung Kui is also quite good. Yes, I agree with you. The one in Alexandra uh, is also good as well. Thanks a uh, lot, George. I will be looking to add on to that as well. Let me take a quick note. 560 McPherson. And it's also nearby my house as well. So I don't have to travel so far. Uh, if they do delivery, that's even better. Because, you know, sometimes you want to travel for different places. Uh, it's also a little bit troublesome as well. Uh, uh, so anyway, uh, yeah. I will definitely will give it a try. Thanks a lot. Really much appreciated uh, on that as well. I think apparently I'm looking at it. 560 McPherson also is for, also famous for his uh, Guan Lai Kui Zap or something like that. Uh, hey, hello, Sabi. So, um, so, I tried the, 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 the uh, curry, uh, curry chicken noodles, the Simon Road. From me, I'm showing everybody who have not seen it yet. The walkie is still fabulous. 
and of course the Sung Kuei from Puzo Investing. Anyway, so in summary, I must say that in terms of the two delivery services that I've used, YQ is actually better. Uh, but of course, YQ did not uh, was not able to actually deliver Salmon Road or Kemi because it's a top five Singapore one. But uh, the, the method is very manual, so you did pay for the food and they pay for the delivery charge separately from them. It's a bit troublesome, then you have to compute here and there. Um, but the food, uh, both uh, YQ as well as the Salmon Road, Hokkien Mi uh, arrive uh, really quite good. Yeah, thanks. Yes, it is my favorite as well. All the food I've tried. I, I, I hope that uh, it's actually quite uh, worthwhile for you. I'm looking to do, do this on a weekly, once, twice a week kind of thing, a vlog kind of style, simply because I think, um, you know, right now we can't travel uh, and, uh, you know, everybody's so tapao and I, I thought that this would be a good way uh, for different people to try different things rather than just pure reading of text here and there. And uh, I thought it would be a good way for everybody to share all this kind of stuff. So, uh, you know, so in summary, the, 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 the all three, I would say that were outstanding. The, the queue at the, at the curry, noodle, Bedok curry noodles, right, is crazy. So it's actually more efficient to order in, even if the lockdown actually is enhanced measures rather. Uh, it's a, a bit more relaxed, right? I don't. I doubt that the queue will also be will be as, will, will be shortened one way or the other. So I, I suspect it's actually better to actually order in if possible. S similarly for uh, Samara or Hokkien Mee, uh, it's one of those kind of places where lockdown, no lockdown, CB, no CB. Uh, it's going to be queue. Uh, queue is going to be very long. I, I I think they need to work on making it easier, but. <laughs> Frankly speaking, with their business, I've been there once. The queue is crazy, it's long. Uh, they will go there. Again. So anyway, um, that concludes uh, my quick review for today. Uh, the three dishes and the two delivery platforms. And uh, you know, um, anyway, hi Irene. So I just wanted to share my, my thoughts regarding the three, uh, the three dishes that I've eaten, and the two delivery platforms. So I add. Let me see. I add the the, the, the rice kuih for the fat sun kuih from the dough interchange, the hot lye, uh home dim curry chicken noodles, which is over here. Nice. And sorry, you can see me suffering the fanari from bowl. It's really good and it's not so fatty. And this is from the Simon Root Hokkien. So anyway, um this is a live broadcast. So I think um, that's pretty much yes, it's really good. The wok hay for the game is fantastic. The curry chicken noodles is good. However, it loses out to Hong Lim a little bit. Only one is that marginally better. The chicken quality, the chicken the bite, more the the, the it's more generous. Uh, the sung kuih was a surprise. I'm not a big fan of sung kuih, but I ordered uh, for fun, and uh, it was a good experiment. So today was really good dishes. Um, really good stuff. I, I really have happy to do that. YQ is a good platform to try. Um, I have no affiliation, but I, I think the service was uh, was pretty decent. And they I ordered the Budo Chi Kui. They caught me up and they said that the store was closed. Once they did that, the refund was done almost five minutes. And they sent it to my PayNow account. Uh, to my PayNow account, rather. So it was really quite good. I, I really was quite impressed regarding that. So anyway, um, that's pretty much it. I got to go for my stuff. Uh, it's a wrap for today. And um, do send me a DM uh, if you got any questions. No worries. It's really good to virtually see you uh, even after so many years. And uh, But of course, any feedback, share up to me. And I'm happy to hear from you. And uh, I will probably be posting it on IGTV and uh, YouTube as well. And uh, I'm happy to share from there. Alright, you take care. I'll talk to you soon. Yeah? Bye-bye.